Today, we're gonna port the Gen 3 Coyote head. Keep watching. So a lot of guys think that you can just pour the cylinder head. I get that a lot. People inquire like, hey, can you just port my head? Can I get it CNC ported? When the reality is that you need to have a plate so it fits in the machine. And then you have to have a hand port. The hand port is then digitized and then you can CNC that cylinder head. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do the Gen 3 Coyote head. Now, We've already done some Coyote stuff or Gen 3 stuff. We've been doing them for years and we've actually been pretty successful with them. Now we've been doing them for years, but we took our port, shipped it out, sent it to somebody who had one of these machines and they digitized it and we would just keep doing that. Well, now we have a machine, so it is time for us to redo the port. I'm gonna redo the port. There's some things I wanted to change anyway. I'm gonna show you how I port the cylinder head with the head games burrs. So keep watching, There's a lot of tips and tricks in this one. All right guys, here's the OEM intake port you can still see i have guides in it and we're going to make some fins here we're going to get rid of the guide bosses we're going to make a fin up here on the on the floor and this is actually the roof and let's take a look at the exhaust here's the exhaust you can see big ass guide bosses the guides are actually out of this one we're going to make fins out of all that and we're going to make this slightly larger but not not terribly bigger. I'm not a big fan of big ports. Let's get grinding. We just want to point out that you guys are watching this thing chatter and part of that is because you notice I have the six inch long shank on here and that is because I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to pour it and I'm also trying to film it and really what I need is the shorty. I always tell people to buy multiples of our burrs because you need to turn down the size to fit what you're grinding. And what happens here is the shank is so long that it's gonna deflect. There's no way to not deflect it. And the only way I can do that is to have a shorter burr in it. All right, guys, I'm going to show you what I just did. Now, I just made two trenches, made this into a fin, made a fin out of the divider. Uh, but the big thing is, 
making a circle is a really hard thing to do. This is going into a circle that is kind of squared at, at the roof. And what you have to do is you gotta keep in mind, or you are trying to keep the shape, unless you really want to square it, which most people don't. But if you watch how I'm moving this, you see, now this is just my fingers. I'm not doing anything other than just moving my fingers up and down with a burr. And it's as far as it goes. You don't want to be doing up here. You don't want to push. If anything you want to push on is this wall and you want to maybe concentrate on certain little areas, but you don't want to go like this to keep the circle. Does that make sense? So you don't want to go like this. You want to do big sweeps because big sweeps are going to keep the shape. Now, when we do the floor, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to sweep into this big sweeps. We're not going to do small little, well, anytime you're touching that wall, big sweeps are going to keep that circle. Notice I put a piece of wood so I could put a light underneath the head on the headstand. And this is not for Hollywood or anything else. You really want to bring the work to you and a headstand and putting some wood or whatever you're going to do to prop the cylinder head up so it's easier to work on is the best thing that you can do because again, this is all angles and the angle of your grinder, the angle of you doing the work counts too. make sure that this is within a percentage of the size of the valve. You can't just go big and just pour it willy nilly here. You really, you want to pay attention to the size of it. And so you take an inside caliper here and you can measure it, see where you're starting, have an idea of where you want to go with it and just plant it there. Also, always attack the short side from both sides and a lot of times I like to do the floor first there's not every head but you know I like to do the floor first because I don't want to flatten out anything that I would make a turn so I just kind of sneak up on it and then I actually shape the turn from the turn side and then I blend everything in from the port side The next part of our journey is going to be with the Head Games three quarter super spiral burr. This is a bad dude and you're gonna see why. Now I'm gonna start with the bowl and the bowl is round. And the biggest attribute to using a burr this big is really that we're gonna keep the shape, not only this fast stock removal, but you're also gonna be able to keep the shape. So if you have a small burr, it's just not gonna work as well as something that's really, really large.
All right, guys, we are roughed in. I don't usually show this part. You'll see a lot of parts that are not touched. You'll see that everything in here is rough. There's big boulders and stuff. Guess what? Change is really hard in the beginning, messy in the middle, and beautiful in the end. And that's what we're going to have here. I'm going to switch it over to the Head Games Half Inch Super Spiral Burr. This burr is what's going to blend everything in. I'm going to make everything nice. I'm going to make it so it's sandable and no big bumps. And we're also going to do some measuring. I'm going to make sure that the port is to the size that I'm looking for. That's what we're, that's where we're at. So I'm going to blast through this. When I'm done roughing stuff out, which I always do in high speed, I will turn the speed down on the Goodson speed controller and I put it at low. I, I still use the half inch super spiral burr. And I just go back over everything at a low speed to just make it a nice surface. So we're going to switch out of the electric grinder and I'm going to go to my Clico die grinder uh, air and it's front exhaust. So it blows everything away from you. I'm going to sand everything, pretty much going to rough everything and I'm not going to finish sand it because, well, it really doesn't matter. The CNC doesn't care. And I just wanted to show you a quick tool for doing short turns. I took prop rod. I got this actually from Home Depot. I took quarter inch prop rod, cut it to length. I have a bunch of different lengths. And then I used a hacksaw and cut the ID of this right here. You see that little slit there? So I put that little slit there because you can buy a handy roll. This is 60 grit. And what I do is I will put it, I fold it, and I stick it in here, and then I roll it up. And I roll this up because you kind of want to make it like a cartridge roll, but now it's not as rigid as a cartridge roll. This is malleable and that makes it easy to work on short turns. So it's not gonna affect your short turn. It's not gonna make it have bumps or a ridge at the top. This is just for shaping and getting rid of all the lines. only want to hit it with that flapper up until about here because here forward is just the shape of the turn and that's what we don't want to mess with and then from here on i'm going to use a cartridge roll so this is a 60 grit half inch by an eighth i can put a link in the description on our website and this is going to sand the whole rest of the port I hope you guys enjoyed all that. The head's mocked up in the CNC. Matt's ready to digitize it, and that is going to be our next video. So next video, we're going to digitize it. We're going to cut it. I'm going to show you what it looks like, and maybe I'll flow it. The problem is I really want to flow this thing against the Voodoo, and that's going to be a separate video. I have to do that. I have to do that. So just so you know, I've been throwing some of these videos out, and I haven't been flowing them on camera because... I want to give you guys some serious cool content with Against the Voodoo. So keep watching. Appreciate you. And uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share this video. Toodles.
gay!